Nagatumani, Mulima, Terumitias Baki, Makamatuma, and Sabavi Diri, Mikalo Chitaha Vedagat, Prashna Yomkirim, Pilibando, Mamitumata, Sutia Palakarasitno, Api Rajak Vishen, Vashen, Saha Sri Lanki Jatia Kwashen, Palestino Bimukti Saha, Unge Suang Nirne Aitia Venuin, Digin Digatum Penisitno, Ekapi Pahugi Kale Tula. Digit ni kita mau pukar la penne la tiye nawa, eh akarnya mana silum mau prachanda tuh ha, prachanda kari, weda pilih bola, dadi wa, vivece ni telak kan. Honorable Speaker, Sri Lanka maintains a consistent policy on the Palestinian cause and extends an unwavering support for Palestinian in the multilateral fora. The President of the Sri Lanka. On the 24th of November 2022, in his message on the International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people, reaffirm Sri Lanka's position and call on the international community and all parties concerned to make renewed efforts to achieve a lasting solution, including through an early implementation of the United Nations General Assembly resolution on a two-state solution based on 1967 borders. I am submitting as an annexure that statement. Uh, I myself, when I addressed the general debate of the 77th session of the United Nations General Assembly on the 24th of September 2022 in New York, reiterated Sri Lanka's long-standing position on the Palestinian issue, adding that the Sri Lanka recognized legitimate security concerns of both Palestine and Israel people and urgent resolution on the matter on the basis of UN resolution on the attainment of the two-state solution. At the 51st session of the Human Rights Council under item 7, general debate on the human rights situation in Palestine and the other occupied territories, Sri Lanka made a statement on the 30th of September 2022 a copy of which is uh, I am annexing with this reply, highlighted that the reputation of the cycle of violence in the occupied Palestinian territory can only be ended with a genuine political effort for a negotiated solution to end the conflict. Sri Lanka reiterated its commitment to supporting a negotiated settlement in line with the internationally agreed parameters of two states living side by side on the basis of the 1967 borders which is the key to achieve long-term security, peace and prosperity. We can call all sides to refrain from rhetoric and provocative acts. Sri Lanka believes that efforts should be redoubled to make a peace a reality in the lives of the Palestinians and also for the betterment of the peace-loving Israeli people, not the extremists. Until everyone is safe, no one will be safe. Therefore disproportionate use of power and suppression of legitimate rights of any people or a community would only escalate further tension and create a situation where security of both Palestinian and the Israelis are threatened and with the possibility of escalating to the other regions. Therefore, Sri Lanka urges all parties to act with restraint and respect human rights and act in a manner which advances the humanity. The international community also has a huge responsibility in promoting UN resolution without double standard and act towards attaining long-lasting peace to the region on the basis of the resolutions mentioned above, that is, two-state solution based on 1967 borders. Honorable Tarek Balasuriya, the State Minister of Foreign Affairs, assured the Sri Lanka's unwavering support for the Palestinian cause to His Excellency Mahmoud Abbas, the President of the Palestinian National Authority, during the fifth United Nations Conference on the Least Developed Countries held in Doha on the 6th of 2023. May I now just read out the President Vikramasinghe's message on the 24th of November 2022 uh, on, on the International Day of the Solidarity with the Palestinian people. On this auspicious occasion to commemorate the International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people, I reaffirm the Sri Lanka's steadfast solidarity with the government and people of Palestine. For more than seven decades, there had been a long struggle to find a just and peaceful solution to the situation in Palestine. 
Sri Lanka, while continuing to support the sovereign, independent state of Palestine, calls on the international community and all parties concerned to make renewed efforts to achieve a lasting solution, including through the early implementation of the United Nations General Assembly resolution on a two-state solution based on the 1967 borders. On behalf of the government and the people of Sri Lanka, I take this opportunity on this felicitous instance to extend sincere best wishes to the government and people of Palestine. In view of that, yes, we condemn senseless act of violence and disproportionate use of force. We will stand by the people of Palestine and we, are stay, we will continue to stay and stand with the Palestinian cause uh, until a peaceful, durable solution is achieved and the Palestinian rights have been attained. Thank you.